One, two, one, two, one, two. Be the fly, lay it easy. JC the light. This set the tone podcast, man. We got another one, a good one, a great one for y'all today. Talk to him, JC. We global now. My man coming all the way from Harlem. Uh-huh. Yes. Ready to drop jewels. Mm-hmm. No yes. tea and Tamara, but we got the smart guy in the building. <laughs> yes, I'm glad. See, I fuck with you for that. Because you, you had a, smart you had a really, like, you had to, oh, money, get the, get the other, get the other. See, they got the production over here going on. Get the behind the scenes there. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got the kid. I mean, oh, shit. No, because I'm going through that right now, right? So it's like, okay. uh, yo, I got to thank you, because I'm going to use that. No tea and Tamara. Well, um, man, I'm going right. through the Joe Buttons thing right now. Because okay. his name is Joe Button. Mm-hmm. No, it's a Button. Button, yeah. Right? Everybody call him Buttons. With two Ds. Yeah, Everybody but they call, call him Buttons because they Everybody can't pronounce it. Everybody call me the smart it. guys <laughs> instead of saying smart. But hey, yeah, we're here. <laughs> That's a fact. Nonetheless. How you been, man? No, I've been great, man. Um, three sold out shows. I got another show um, November 25th. We're going to okay. be in Harlem. No labels tour. Um, Where at? Where in Harlem? Um, on the east side. Okay, okay. Um, Still locking down the venue. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, so I don't want to promote it. But gotcha, it's, it's the gotcha. 25th um, of November. And, you know, teaching black people how to reprogram the subconscious mind. Teaching black people what, um, you know, racism really is. How to defend against it. Um, teaching black men how to be more confident. How to be more powerful. And how to take their proper place. Like I say, uh, masculinity is um, advocation I mean, it's application, not advocation. Okay. So we're not, we don't have to say we're men. We're just going to do men shit. Men shit. And, gotcha. and people that follow suit with that, those are people that's going to be around. Okay, yeah. got you, got you. Let me ask you a question, all right? So, like, I know you you you're, you deal with music. I was about to say dabble with music, but you still, to this day, you deal with music. Maybe percent. Yeah. So the second part of the No Labels Tour is going to be for independent artists. Okay. So I just wanted to lay the groundwork down first for the informative aspect because I feel like a lot of artists don't understand the business of music. Mm-hmm. And if they did, there would be a lot more success for us in the actual music business. Mm-hmm. So like I say, music is the commercial for um, the products you sell or the services you provide or the products you promote or the services you promote. Mm-hmm. So think of McDonald's. McDonald's has music, right? Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. I'm, I'm loving, loving it. it. No, right. Yeah. So that's their music. But what's their product? Food. Burgers and fries. Burgers fries. What's yeah. their service? What's their Commercial service? Commercial real estate. Okay. Yeah. Explain that. Their franchise. Okay. All right. Right? Okay, gotcha. So, you know, music is used in that same regard, okay? So a lot of artists, they don't understand that their music has to promote a product or a service. If you don't have a product or service, you, you, your, your music is not going to be leveraged to its fullest financial potential. Mm. And you don't need a middleman to use your music as a commercial to promote a product or a service. So if he's a rapper, right, mm-hmm. first thing I'm looking at is his beard. Oh, okay, we're going to make a hair oil. Um, mm. So <laughs> you're just thinking market because it right has away, to be product it, marketing. It has right to away. be what you consume, and it has to be utility. Right, utility mean this is I, I need this. I'm I'm gonna eat. Is I'm gonna wear a hoodie. But merch has always been the first thing people run to. No, there's products, there's food, there's thousands of products. So every artist should make an actual. And this is what we teach on the tour, teaching artists how to make a product list relevant to what they consume, mm-hmm. teaching people how to make a product list re, uh, relevant to um, their interests and the type of music they make, mm-hmm. and then using that music to promote that product, and then the album. It's almost like aisles in a supermarket. Mm-hmm. Track one, Pepsi. Track two, Wonder Bread. Track three, cereal. <laughs> Track f- right, so that True. whole album promotes a product or service list. Then you got a financial goal associated with that. You see, and then you're successful. And then your music career is your transactions. Your music career is um, your ability to sell products and promote services. And then your career is what you do, and however you can maintain that over time. And you can create a retirement plan for yourself just off that alone. And if you're actually good enough and people want to do business with you, maybe labels or distribution companies, then, you know, that, that's an option you can explore, too, if you if you um, uh, deem that necessary. Mm-hmm. I mean, when, when, when did you get all this information? And how long did it take you for to, to gather up all this information? Oh, man, just life. I mean, so, you know, for me, it was tough because, you know, my mother, you know, was, was a drug addict. My father wasn't around. Oh. And five years old, I had to figure it out. 
Five years. At five, yeah. We in a we in a woman's shelter and in the morning they're kicking everybody out because they got you don't got a consistent mm-hmm. bed. Mm-hmm. So I'm supposed to be going to school. Mom is going to do whatever she doing. Mm-hmm. So now I'm at Covenant House, you know, Port Authority. We in Times Square. So we, I'm hanging out with all the older kids. We ain't going to school. We running around Times yeah, Square, around. Hey. getting on the train, taking trains at last stops. Yeah. So I'm watching them. My first hustle was swiping Metro cards. So mm-hmm. so early on, I didn't have a, um, a opportunity, I think, to to, to, to to be ignorant, right? They say ignorance is, is, is bliss, yes, right? Yeah. I never had that blissfulness. And I think over time, I became very, very interested in the mechanics of things because I had to such early on, right? Like, okay, if we go to the supermarket, we got to go to the food, the, 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 the meat section, pause. Mm-hmm. We're going to mm-hmm. steal all the motherfucking food, yeah. go back. We go, we're going to the Bronx trying to sell food to the barbershops. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, everything for me was about a hustle. Everything for me was about a, Survival. you know, a, yeah, you know, a return on investment. Like, what's mm-hmm. coming out of that? Okay, mm-hmm. we stealing, we selling clothes, we robbing, we selling crack, we selling weed, we hustling. Mm-hmm. I did everything. So from there, I always looked at it as how is what I'm engaging or indulging in producing something that sustains me living? Gotcha. And then from that, I I begin to look at things like how they actually work. So even so as a child growing into a, you know a young adult, my mind was kind of already set up like that because of you know my um, unfortunate disposition, you mm-hmm. know. So that's where that stemmed from, right? So like it's because of your mom's not being around. Fuck yeah, you know, survival. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes mm-hmm. I feel like a motherless child. Mm-hmm. No support from my mother. Sometimes I wish I would have came from a different pussy C-section. Even in birth, she didn't push me. Every other week, you got a new man in the house. Got the nerve to point to him like he the man in the house. Mm-hmm. And they all wanted me to call him dad. They wanted me to call him. I grew up confused. I got beats. I was black and blue. You wonder why I'm He's in school, acting right a fool, <laughs> cutting class, picking fights, couldn't follow the rules. Uh, you know, free lunch won't cut it because I'm still hungry. So I need food. Hooked up with Daryl, making moves now. Yeah, mama, making moves now. Mm-hmm. Put a pins woman out. Left me in the system, plus you ain't called back. There ain't love, but you call that. Mm. If you ain't want a son, mama, shit. You left me in that boy. She ball left me in that sack, ball girl. sack. Two sides <laughs> to the story, but I ain't having it because there's too many demons inside. I got to battle with. Fuck whoever trying to play devil's advocate. Because y'all don't understand most how real this is. I was just a kid, five. Had to look my mama in the eyes, half sleep, half high, and you wonder why I'm outside smoking weed, pistol in my pocket, throwing up gang signs. You a junkie, mama? How you gonna demand respect? I guess you beat me because I look like the man that left. A spinning mm-hmm. image of my daddy. That's why you slapped me. Can nothing please you, you ain't never happy. Straight A's on report cards getting ripped. Christmas, birthdays, I ain't get shit. Every man I see you with, call you bitch. Yo, dog, this is what I deal with. Sometimes I feel me like a motherless. Sh- man, nigga, it feels like God cursed me and my brothers. Because all I do is suffer. And the pain came from my mother. But a rose won't grow from this concrete. Tupac, you tripping. Roots getting pulled out. Pedals getting stepped on. Came home high. Beat me half to death. You said that I slept wrong. Bloody tampons, empty bottles of liquor, crack valves on the same bed I slept on. How the fuck could I sleep wrong? You got me laying on the bed I could barely even sleep on. This is my life, man. You know. So Paul, going through so that. How did you? How did you? Man, how did you look at moms dealing with that? I mean, moms is still moms. No, it ain't. Not for me. Mm. You know, like it was, speak on that though. I like, mean, because you can't. How could you love something that never loves you? How could you love something that the more you try to pour into it, you, it, it, it doesn't pour anything out to you? My mom tried to kill me. My mom's like me in closets, go out and get high. Really? Left me with fucking strangers, abandoned me, all types of shit, right? So I never, I never had that relationship with my mother. And then, you know, over time, the distance. And then now you go from a child that accepts the abuse to a teenager that is protecting themselves from the abuse. From the abuser. So now that relationship ain't even there. Mother, not fuck you. I ain't, you ain't now. Now I'm older now. Beat me now. Mm. Now it's a different perspective because, you know, majority, I won't say, majority of right, people, right. you know, they look at moms like, yo, this is my everything. Like, you know, what no, I mean? I they lost look at moms, moms. They look at that's moms. my everything. Because the mother you know had I mean? to love. Yeah. You're gonna love what loves you. Mm. Period. Gotcha. And a lot of times, you know, it's always from the male perspective, like the deadbeat daddy. You, you no, know, no accountability for the women. You see, so I ain't have neither. I didn't have my pops. I didn't have my mother. And my where mother. Your, where was your pops? I don't fucking know. 
Oh, you never even met you? Nah, last time I, the last time, um, the last time I saw my pops, right? I was 11 years old, and I was in, um, I was in Crossroads playing basketball. So my pops, you know, I'm going crazy in the jail. I'm nice. So the, the uh, CEO, he like, yo, your son, he, yo, he got some skills. Oh, he going yeah, crazy, yeah. yo. He could probably do something. So my pops is like, yo, what you want to do? I want to live with you, dad. I want to live with you, dad. He like, well, I live down. I said, yo, I don't care where you live. I want to live with you, man. Mm-hmm. So I already had this whole vision of like, okay, when I get out, I'm going to play basketball. Yeah. That was the last time I saw my father. He didn't even follow up to take <laughs> you in. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like Jeffrey Dahmer, he was one of Jeffrey Dahmer's victims, yeah. such, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened? Like, you, you know what I mean? He just hit word. He was in a battle somewhere, man. You know what I yeah. mean? So, you know what I mean? So, yeah. it, it kind of, you know, it, 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 it. To this day, since 11. It was over. The last time I saw him. Even with what you got going on, oh, it's too no late now. reach out. It's too no, late I, now. I, I, I understand it'd be it's too not, late. It might but, not even be safe to reach out. But has there even been a reach out? <laughs> it's like, Yo, it might no. not be safe to reach out. Seriously. It's crazy. Yo. Yeah, because you already because because if you but at least has there like is there a DM you keeping on the yo I'm not I'm not reading it no like, no nah, nah, I would say no nah, like, I would say that no 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 it's crazy that's what I have to no no man um, you know what I mean like yo I nah. see the shit but I ain't gonna open the shit like nah. what's going on no nah. no nah? nah, absolutely not I mean if it was I would have kept it real I feel nothing I feel nothing for him so if if like I always envision like like me running into him like. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm probably gonna beat the brakes off him. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna be the. The anger uh, is still there? It's not anger. It's just fuck you, like, type That's shit. That's anger, though. Nah. No? I nah. thought you was just a legend changed man. <laughs> I am a changed man, but I feel like, I feel like, like, I got into an argument slightly in my last podcast interview, right? This was like, what, two days ago? Yesterday? Something like that? Mm-hmm. And people always make this mistake about me, like, I think I'm still a man, mm-hmm. right? Like, I'm conscious, but I didn't. I'm not Gandhi, you know? So, yeah, you know, but I think t- to kind of, like, keep answering your question, mm-hmm. my life was so hard early on, unexpectedly, I I had to figure shit out. So I grew up with a, I got to figure this shit out kind of mindset. Mm-hmm. You know, so if we making music, we doing business, I right, how this shit making money? I sold crack for real. Mm-hmm. Like, I hustled for real. I made money in the streets for real. So I can't just be in front of a camera and, no, nah, I'm not looking at the video. I'm looking in the video. Oh, okay, they got these mics. They got these cameras. Oh, I bet. They got CSI rentals. They got Adorama rentals. Oh, they got the Cars Iceland's. Yeah, we know every fucking camera. I know where to get the mics. Like, my brain going to work like that because everything was about you can't let nobody middleman you because if you got too many middlemans between you and the refrigerator, man, that, that, that plate going to get smaller and smaller, and you hungry. And you're hungry. Say so fact. if the refrigerator is between me, you, and this table, well, I'm trying to get the table out the way. <laughs> table, yeah. like, just, hold on. Is Ill with the props right the Let's nah, get, the, that's get the table out the way. You know what I mean? Because I need full access to the refrigerator. Mm-hmm. And if you just the guy that's telling me, well, you got to get half and another half and a half of my motherfucking pastrami sandwich because you, I just allowed you to be in front of the refrigerator, and I'm going to have to back out this good old 38. Look, homie, I'm going to tell you one. Now, first, I'm going to shoot you in the leg. Mm. For all the times you took half of the sandwich, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? For all the times now, yeah, you yeah, you gotta get shot. For, yeah. Thank you for your ideas. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Take that into consideration. Yeah. And then I'm gonna move you. Then, then we gonna probably pistol whip you and get you the fuck out the way. Uh-huh. And you ain't never be in front of the refrigerator again. Uh-huh. And that's it, cause we gotta eat to the full maximum capacity. Gotta eat like kings, not peasants. See, uh-huh. so when you got that type of mindset, no matter what business or genre, or whatever you going into, you are gonna get to the real information, mm-hmm. the the real business and the real. Um, monetizable aspect of whatever it is the fuck that you're doing, you know. Can, so you can, can you my fault. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Can, can you forgive your parents? Of course. I mean, yeah, you always forgive, but you don't. You forgive. Listen, forgive is forgive, forgive. The energy is for you, and I'm giving it back. But what's for you? Everything. <laughs> Life. <laughs> Yo, no, I want I want to ask you something. <laughs> yeah, right? talk to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, cause yo, you you're you're ill with the the mindset, and it, right, when I sure. say ill, I don't want to I want I don't want to make it seem like like you you're spinning. This is this is really you. That's this me. Really, this is me. Yeah. yeah so sure. it's really you. like when people see me, they be like, yo, nah. Like when 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 Instagram stop, mm-hmm. I don't. This is you. This is just this me. This is you. Yeah. So yeah. I want to ask this right mm-hmm. because you have. You're the smart, you're the smart guy. Yeah. So you have you have a, a great mindset, 
which is dope. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I want to ask this question because you have a following on top of that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So what would you say, what would you say is the moment that brought that following? Like, is there not a, I don't, I don't want to say a viral moment because viral is like, you know, viral could come and go. So what was the no. moment that, that was like what made everyone jump into following and well, everything that believing in the word that you speak in? Right, right. Well, well, at the end of the day, what you what you do in the dark comes to light. Mm -hmm. I've been working for over 10 years. Right? I mean, this content of me from fucking years ago talking the same way. Message did not change. Okay. Right? So I think it's not about there's no shortcuts, right? You know, God is delayed gratification. Right? And you're being delayed, not denied. And then through that delay, you're being prepared for the success that you're going to have. So then now there's gratifying, this, you know, delayed gratification. Mm -hmm. You see? So um, I think the foundation for any type of success is um, clarity, right? Commitment um, and consistency. And, you know, that trilogy has always been present in my life, right? Like, Clarity from prison, I started thinking about, okay, I'm getting out, I'm not going back. This is what I want to do. I'm visualizing every single day. I'm writing out my whole life. I was in Southport Box. I wrote out my whole life from getting released to prison to reaching 118 years old. Before you continue, how many, how, 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 how many years you did in prison? A couple years, man. Did some time, man. I did some time. And for all the brothers that did time in prison, be very, very careful um, with uh, time, dates, and stuff like that. They pull rabbits out the hat, and you be in the indictment. I did some time in prison. Okay. Tip murder, armed robbery. Okay. I mean, but um, when I got out of prison, my mindset, I wrote down, like, my whole, my whole plan was like, okay, I'm going to live to 118 years old. So I literally wrote out every year of my life what I was going to do, my plan and everything. Mm -hmm. So that was the clarity aspect, right? Um, then commitment. I had to commit to it, right? Mm -hmm. And part of commitment is discipline. Right. Part of, you know, um, discipline is sacrifice, you know, and part of sacrifice is restraint. Right. Part of restraint is fucking flat out pain. It's painful. Right. To 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 go right when everybody's going left. Mm -hmm. See, but when you understand that there's no wrong way to do right and there's no right way to do wrong. Right. Then you, it gives you the patience necessary to stay committed. Right. And then we talk about consistency, not stopping. Doing this shit every single day. I'm outside. I sold over 500,000 copies of my mixtape. I'm hand in hand selling my CDs and talking and grinding. So it just, your the success is gonna come. It's Were inevitable. You rapping in prison? Um, yeah, for sure. You, you yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, just real quick. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the last yeah, point to answer the question because yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't understand the recipe for success. Okay. That's the recipe. Mm -hmm. You gotta commit. And then when it happens, it happens, but you have to detach yourself from results. It's like you just got to work. And you can't work like that unless you love what you do. Like, I love music. I love black people. I love, you know, um, being informative. I love sharing knowledge, right? Like, this is, I'm, I'm passionate about mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. fucking ruling the world, mm -hmm. you know? So I could talk for hours, and I've done that. I could talk for years. I don't, it's not going <laughs> to... Mm -hmm. It's not gonna change, right? Like yeah. I didn't, I didn't need nobody to clap. I didn't need nobody to follow. I didn't need nobody to you make me go viral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that energy just got to a point where it was like, oh wow, okay. And then it just spread like wildfire. And I think the reason why people respect me and they respect the word I say because of the backstory, because of who I am, because people remember me. They remember me from Rikers Island or prison. They remember me randomly giving us some information when nobody was around. They remember me looking out and doing deeds that I didn't do for the camera. I did because out of the kindness of my heart. So all that karma gets built up and then it just explodes to what you see going on with me right now. Four billion views on TikTok, three billion views Talk on YouTube. About it. I don't even have a fucking TikTok, three sold out shows. Talk about it. You know, Talk about um, it. everybody reposting me. Um, Beyonce in my story. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm looking at my analytics like, oh shit, I can see who's watching me, right? Like, oh wow, okay. Like this is this is what it is. What made you want to give back and give give information back to the people that need Pure. I mean, I never had a family. So I felt like that those abandonment issues became almost a, 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 a pivot into um, what I'm doing now, right? And I want I want it for my brother what I want it for myself. 
even though the person that I called brother didn't share the same blood as me, right? So I always wanted the family, and I grew up in group homes. I grew up in a system. I grew up in drug programs, you know? So just building with people made me feel more closer. Some of my closest friends, like, shout out to my man Kobe, powerful. These, these dudes that die for me. They're not my family. Yeah. <laughs> they will kill for me, like, literally. But you see them you as family. Mean? Yeah, it's my family. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So blood don't make you family. Love makes you family. That's a fact. And they love me and I love them, you know? So I think just me always wanting as a kid, wanting to feel connected to something, feel connected. And I found that when you help people, there's a, a possibility you can make a, a, a solid friendship because you're helping people, mm -hmm. you know? And people like assets over liabilities. So that's what, and it, I was feeding myself through that early on. You know, so that was the foundation for what I'm doing. I mean, so if if you if you have a if you don't have that much of a great relationship with your mother, right? For sure. How would you how would you have a relationship with a woman? You just answered it. You're not. You know you are. You just answered it, right? What? I'm lost. Don't yeah. no, I, I'm gonna find you right now. <laughs> I'm the yeah, dumb find guy. Me. I'm gonna find, find you right God, now. Give me. <laughs> you just you just said it, right? You Stupid. just said it. You said what you said. You said there's how many women is that? That's one. Two. Thank you. You're good women. at math. Uh, yeah. That's mom. I mean, no, no. You're, I'm talking that's about mom many, and whoever the lady is. How many women is that? That's two women. What's the description of both women? One is what? One's mom. And one is what? The woman you're dealing with. Good. Yeah. A woman can never give you a mother's love. Mm. And a mother's not supposed to give you a woman's love. A mother gives you a mother's love. A woman gives you a woman's a woman. love. Yeah. yeah. Two different loves, just as just as powerful. No. Do you do you feel a woman should give you a motherly love in a Absolutely sense? Absolutely not. No, At all? No. no. It's not responsible. No, absolutely not. So for me, early on, I was searching for the love I didn't get from my mother in mm -hmm. women. Mm, okay. And it was very dysfunctional, right? But she's she's and not your mom. She's not your mother, and she mm -hmm. can't give you that type of a love and affection. She can give you her affection, her love. So there's a there's a there's a standard, there's a level that she can never reach. And you'll hate her for it and she'll hate you for it over time. Then it becomes dysfunctional and abusive. And then over time, I had to learn the difference between a mother's love and a woman's love. A woman's mm -hmm. love is so powerful and so strong, mm -hmm. right? But it's not the same as a mother's love. doesn't mean it's less or more. It's just different. And when you understand how to separate the two, then you have a relationship with a woman, not dating my mother. Yeah, true. Right? You didn't... I, I never... I, I've stabbed people in prison. I've cut people from the fucking top of their forehead to their fucking chest cavity. Mm. You never stole nothing from me. So how could I have a conversation with you like this? I don't have you. You're not the opposition. Yeah. Right. You uh -huh. just you, you you don't you don't misplace energy. Right. And you don't misplace expectations. Right. Hurt people hurt people, because it's displaced anger. Right. But you also have displaced emotions and expectations for emotions to be given to you. And when you understand a woman is not going to give you what a mother is supposed to give you, it's okay. Let that go. And enjoy what a woman can give you. And I've learned over time how to do that. But don't you feel like we, like you said, expectations. Don't mm -hmm. you feel expectations come in a sense from comparison? Like if we if we had a a, a mother figure, we we tend as men we tend to compare in a sense. No, because with expectations. You're not supposed no? to. This is why we're not it, supposed to. Yeah, right, but right. I feel this we do being, though. Even though we're not, you're right. I mean, we're not supposed to. Some people do. I don't. But and you're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. So you have to do your due diligence. You have to be studious. You have to see like you have to be able to really understand realistically. I'm not your father. Mm. <laughs> it's true. Some girls do expect right? to be their dad. Yeah, yeah. I'm me. Take care of everything. You know my dad. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Right, well, my dad yeah. did that. <laughs> you're not my daughter. <laughs> yeah, facts. You know. And I think we have to understand the dynamics of relationships. You have to understand who you are as a man first, right? And then when you understand who you are as a man, there's a certain level of self-reliance and being self-contained mm -hmm. and being in control of your emotions and a certain level of um, emotional intelligence that has to be uh, prevalent in order for you to even engage in relationships with women. And when you do the self-work like I did, then you can have um, lasting and healthy relationships with women. I'm not trying to use this woman's vagina as a form of escapism. I'm not trying to use this woman's couch or finances as a form of escapism. I got my own, mm -hmm. and I love myself. So and if I love myself, I can be on a vibration that will attract someone that will love me, but love me for me, and love me in a way that they can give that love, mm -hmm. and I can reciprocate it. You know what I mean?
You, 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 do you still box? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. He said, yeah. Yeah, I'm punching on shit. Shout out to, yo, <laughs> shout out to my coach, J.U. Uh, uh, heavy hitters uh, boxing in Jersey. We getting ready to, um, my full focus is going to be on um, boxing in 2024. Okay. So, so by this time boxing. next year, this time next year, by this time next year, I'll be light heavyweight champion in the world. Okay. So just remember okay. I said, okay. you, you, you are the like manifest king. This is real shit, bro. Manifest king. Hey, listen, man, it's crazy. My movie is going to be, yo, my life, when they make a movie in my life, it's going to be like, the Titanic times two. Like, <laughs> lift guys. Seriously, bro. Because I'm, I'm putting in a lot of shit. I ain't mad at that. When you started boxing? Um, man, I, I took it serious about three years ago. Okay. But I've always been fighting. But I got into beef with this boxer. I'm not going to shout him out because he's a sucker. But okay. I got into some internet beef um, with a boxer. And I was like, yo, bro, like I beat the shit out of you. And I was going to run down on him. You know what I mean? He's like, nah, come to the gym. You gotta come to the gym. So I said, ah, right, damn. You know, if I fight him in the street, yeah, you know I mean, I'm gonna grab like, you. I'm gonna, nah, I'm gonna, let's get I'm gonna professional. Do you, I'm gonna do it. you dusty. But he was like, yo, we gonna we gotta go to the gym, put the gloves on. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna train for this. Yeah. And I just, I'm an extremist. If I do something, I'm doing it 100. percent So I just, I was going to the gym three, four, sometimes five times a day, mm. training, getting ready to fight this guy. And then as I started getting better. His voice got a little more quiet. He didn't want to. Yeah, yeah, he didn't want no more smoke. He probably and saw I just, some shit. And I just, you know, I had a chip on my shoulder because I, I wanted to go to the NBA. I said, I, I you know, that athletic. Oh, you ball too. Oh man, I used to be nice, bro. You had a left <laughs> hand. Your left hand was shaky, right? <laughs> <Just don't know. laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man was shaky, right? This is my, bro- <laughs> yo, this is my brother right here. Yeah. Mike, he's not nice or not. He yeah. laughing because he know he said, "Yo, he's not a was- shuttle's worth." Nah, like, he's, he's not a shuttle's worth. That Jalen Brown. And- <laughs> nah, bro, I was, dead nice. I was dead nice. Hold up, nah, I was dead That's nice. This up, okay. Um, yeah, so I had that chip on my shoulder because I didn't, um, I didn't do nothing with basketball, so I was like. Now I'm, I definitely bucket list is be, to uh, to become a professional athlete, mm-hmm. so I'm like, that's where the the box. So I'm getting up, training, going crazy, going hard. I'm dieting. I'm even dieting right now, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so boxing, discipline, discipline. Yeah, discipline is everything. Yeah. It's 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 time for people to start giving you your flowers, right? So yeah, you sure. claim it's out of your mouth. Yeah, yeah. pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah, claim yeah. to. <laughs> Put math on to do a podcast. I definitely did. Million percent. I definitely really. Did. Yeah, of course. I mean, but again, we in an era where people don't, you know, when, so me and math had a good relationship. We don't have one anymore. Um, How was that? Um, you know, cause you know, partially take accountability. It was me. I told him don't call me. I felt this type of way because we had did a we had did an episode okay. that they edited it out, and I spoke out against the LBGTQ. I don't support that shit. Okay. And so the guy on the he on the joint like, mind you, I the same conversation. Math is so stupid because he should have let me go into detail about it. Cause the same about thing about how you feel, why how you feel. It's a yeah. clip of me on YouTube, right? Talking mm-hmm. about the LBGTQ. And I was talking with um a Chinese person. China Mac. Chick, China Mac, yeah. Went viral, millions of views. Mm-hmm. But he was so shook at the conversation, then the guy was like, they they cut the cameras. Look, man, you know. This is how I get my money, and so basically, you get your money off of homosexuals. Like I, I don't know, like, I, like what you talking about? But you know what? That, that, how, long, how long ago me. was that though? That was a minute ago. Maybe his math is smarter than before. Don't matter. I ran in a minute. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Listen. So, um, because at the end of the day, you tried to censor someone who is not going to be censored, and math knows that about me. You know, like I'm not, and I don't. And it's funny with math because I can't say nothing bad. We had a really good relationship yeah. before the before we had a. I wish I didn't do that podcast. Okay. Because I feel like I lost a good friend. Like a we, friend. he was solid. Like he was like. So it wasn't he do a lot of goofy shit that really fucked it up. It's just solid, how you bro. edited it. Listen, when math yeah. battled Hollow the Dawn, right? Mm-hmm. I helped him for that battle. Mm-hmm. I gave him the angles. I gave him the approach to go about it and all that. Publicly, he gave me the credit for it. Okay. Nobody's doing that, bro. Right? Anytime I would call him, come to the studio, or whatever, he's pulling up. Mm-hmm. We had a solid uh, relationship. So I just felt like, you know, but I'm uncontrollable. So I know he he didn't really, because I'll go in. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't th- I think he was afraid to have his, his platform snatched from him because it was a touchy uh, topic. Mm-hmm. But I just, I didn't respect that. So we had like, you know, yeah, we, we, had, we, we had, we had, we had, no, nah, it was more so me, right? Like, okay. 
Like, man, for my man, like, he, like, it's not really, it's more those, like, you my brother, you know you can't bully me, mm-hmm. I know I can't bully you, so we just gonna have to walk we just away. just gonna walk, like, away. walk out. I mean, right. like, I slap box his bodyguard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm nice with my hands. I'm dead nice with my hands, bro. Like, so. Who are you talking about, you're not talking about Bigger. Yeah. Bigger said he's not a bodyguard. <laughs> oh, well, at the time when I met, no, because when I met the first time I met Bigger. Bigger said he is not a body. Well, well, the first, the, well, the first, no. time, first time I met Bigger, yeah. we, Math had pulled up on me um, in the studio. He came to Platinum Sound uh-huh. late night at 2 in the morning. He had Bigger with him, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And we talking, and so me and Bigger, you know, we we, we you know we get to, you know, uh, egos. Speaking y'all shit, yeah. I'm like, I mean, motherfucker can't touch me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bigger the men of God. <laughs> now, he's good. I, I fuck with him. So we get to playing, slap boxing, all that, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, oh, y'all really? Oh, y'all yeah, started, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, started yeah. moving. Well, Techniques. I had to show him. You know what I mean? <laughs> people, you know what I mean? Like, hey, man. But, um, so, the thing with Mav, when when Mav had had a situation with, uh, with uh, a disaster, I didn't even know all that shit happened. Okay. But I had, he was telling me about it. I Googled it. I said, oh, shit, it's late night. We was going to an event for a guy named um, Protect Your Heart, right? He's an artist, and he had this like this underground thing, right? Mm-hmm. And Math is in a car talking about he's playing a song called Homework. He's dead set. He's not thinking about making a podcast. He got a car full of his Pac Juice T-shirts, um, and he's trying to find disaster to get his revenge or whatever. Okay. And <laughs> yeah. I'm telling him like, Yo, bro, man, fuck all that. Focus on this. Focus on this. Your merch. Products. You need to make a podcast. You need to get into the. Hold. Let me show you something real quick. Let me just show you something because I ain't never. Y'all get. Shout. Zoom. Y'all getting exclusive. Please. Nah, because people be. People be hold on. Hey, real quick. You said what? Show you something real quick. Hold on. I want you to see something real quick. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you something real Yo. quick. Take your time. Yeah. Nah, they gonna take me that long. What? I want you to see something. I want you to. I want you to tell me. Look. I want you to tell me the time. Look. Time stamp. How many years you see? Just. 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 We ain't gotta say now. I want you. To, I don't want you to say. I want you to just to see it. I mean, I don't have. I don't. I didn't get LASIK surgery, so I, I can't. Yeah. You know I mean? All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Eight joints. Yeah. Chill. Chill. Listen. Check it out. Check it out. Right. I had to. I was doing podcasts like this shit. Then. I just, mm-hmm. I just didn't really know how to put it out, and it, that wasn't even a thing. So I had showed math that, right? I showed math that, and um, I was giving him the whole play for it. Mm-hmm. And he took it, and he put it in motion. But I definitely, for sure, and I, maybe somebody else gave him some more insight too, but I know for sure he didn't have no podcast, and I told him he needed to make a podcast, he needed to make his own show, he needs to make his own battle league. That's what I told him. Mm-hmm. So what, so when he did start making his own podcast, you you went on there for episode. Yeah, but it wasn't like, but I never. The funny thing about me is, like, I never. I think now because I know people ain't solid, and I know it's not not solid for me to call them out on not being solid. Mm-hmm. Right. So. So you're being controlled. Say it again. So I'm, you're being controlled. No, it's, I mean it's a lot of people I gave information to that took it and ran with it, and I never said nothing about it. You know okay. what I mean? Like artists that never, like, artists that like watch my sense. page and I make a post and that post will be a they fucking mixtape cover or I do a song wow. and I got bars in it and then I hear my bars in they and wait, they join. They repeating it? A million percent. Hell yeah. They're re saying your words. Multiple times. That been happening mm-hmm. to me for years. And I had listen, I had a J. Cole. I mean, I say Cole because that's like a a, a a bigger artist. A lot of my balls got recycled from him. And M. Rec had covered it. And I and he was doing a whole story on it. Mm-hmm. And they kind of like just made him take down the motherfucking uh, uh, footage. They made M. Rec take it down. Hell yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm, I don't know if my mind is twisted. Did you just Cause say Because I'm trying Cole? to say like J. Say Cole. Yeah. J. Cole spit one of your verses. A lot of my verses. But what I'm trying to tell you is artists. Cool world. It's like, look. They're saying he's one of the they greatest. say he is listen, the guy listen, right now. He's not the guy. I'm the guy. My man Lord Superb is the guy. Now Lord Superb, now look, this is how and I'm saying Lord Superb was my bunkie in Bear Hill, right? Mm. Lord Superb is ghost face killer's ghostwriter. And a lot of people Wait, don't know that. What? Mm. Right? So yeah. So he from Far Rock. He the one who put me in the stack bundles. You know what I'm saying? But 
Are yeah, you he, saying Ghostface had a Ghost Rider named Lil Super Had a Rock Ghost Lee. Rider? Yes, he did. Oh. But what I'm saying is that Ghost this is face. But, 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 why, face. but why the game is so <laughs> yeah. Yo. But why the game is so fucked Yo. up? But why the game is so yeah? But why the game is so fucked up is because people will say you dead lying, like. But that's hard to take. I mean, pause. it's the truth. But, you see, but listen, oh yeah, major. How, how when you heard about Quentin Miller? Oh, you think Quentin Miller was the but only Quentin Miller? Ghostface is like no, it don't matter. It's mad Quentin Millers. Ghostface it's thousands killer. of Quentin Millers, bro. It's thousands of Quentin Millers. These artists don't be creative. It's mad artists that don't know how to write pickup flows and don't know how to write a hook to save their life. And it'd be artists that live in the studio. It'd be engineers that live in the studio that are play other records. Like, and I'm putting them on blast. Like, Remo the Hitmaker was playing my shit for Mace. So it'd be like little shit. Like, I. Right, I was signed to management deal, New Wave. Remo from Harlem. Yeah. yeah. So he did some sucker shit because mm -hmm. the song he had made for Mason, uh, uh, Eric, what's his name? Eric Bellinger? Eric Bellinger, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like that a was, singer or something. That was yeah. my beat. You know what I'm saying? And the flow that I had on the beat that we made was the same cadence Mace used, and it was the same beat. Now, I don't, I don't think Mace bit my, my, my shit. Mm -hmm. I just feel like Remo... Gave the concept because he's a producer. Yeah. yeah. And they do that shit all the time. Taking from you, taking acting from like me, it's him. And, and I'm an advocate forward. for a lot of artists. Taking from me and taking from artists that work in the studios. It's artists that you never hear mm. that be around these artists. Like stills. And they, they take concepts. They take ideas. They, and they don't take the flat out lyric. Mm. They're going to take the flow. Look, I'm going to show you something. Watch this. Hold on. Watch. I'm going to show you one more thing. I want you to, I want you to right? Real shit. Because nobody talks about this, right? And they get inspiration. Fab got inspiration for me. And they get inspiration, they don't get no people credit for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you something, because time stamps don't lie. Come on, one second. Please. He has to take a leak. Oh, you take a leak? <laughs> yeah. That shit is crazy right now. Look. <laughs> look, look at this right here. Let me see the date, though. So this is me, right? Here, look, look at the video. You know I look at it. Take, take the phone. Mm. I want you to see what I did, though. So I got my Mozzie truck. I'm pouring the champagne on the car. Right? Let me show you something. Some Dame Dash shit. Look, look, look. That's some smart shit. Dame ain't do that. Let me see that. Right, let me show you. Yeah. Fab did it after me. And then he said, and then, and then in the video, he said, um, Harlem Car Wash. Know what I'm saying? Mm, okay. So where do you think he got that from? When you ever seen anybody talking about Washing their cars with champagne. And Fly saying, this is how we wash our cars in Harlem. So the only credit he gave me was saying Harlem Car Wash. Yeah, but he ain't, but you ain't naming. Say, yeah. yeah, you ain't hit me for the video. You ain't do none of that. So what I'm saying is just like artists, bigger artists, they get inspiration. You don't think Joe Rogan might have watched Set the Tone podcast? You don't think these big people that got podcasts watch us? They do. And they get their ideas. The foul shit is they don't give us no credit. Or if you see them in person, they act like they don't know who you are. So it's like, that shit is whack. You know what I mean? That shit is just whack. And for me, I, I don't have no skeletons in my closet. So a person can't do nothing with me. And I'm protected by God. And I'm tough. So it's like, and I'm going to say what I want to say. So they be like, you know what? I can't even fuck with smart. Just, oh, he's lying. He's capping. Capping about what, bro? And if you show people evidence, they'll still say you're lying. Especially in this day and age. Yeah, like they'll see the evidence and be like. The fake, the fake is um outnumbering the real right now. Yeah, that's why the real gotta be in ownership positions. Feel me? Because the suckers are gonna create unions. The suckers are unionized. That's a ball right there. You know that's I mean? that's Facebook worthy, you heard? Yeah. <laughs> we ain't got no ain't, 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 ain't no union for the real. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, so I'm just saying, I'm just saying that to say this, man, man, you know, it's a lot of a lot of swagger jackets, and that's what happens. <laughs> like even with Drake, Drake was Sauce Walker. Drake didn't wait, wait, Drake that, swagger jacked the shit whoa. out of Sauce Walker. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like Drake, like listen, what I'm saying is just And Future too, right? Swagger Jack Sauce Walker, I heard. I don't, I don't know, but I know Drake. Nah, Future had that sauce early. I'm but Sauce Walker, I'm just say saying, that. but Sauce Walker, what uh -huh. I'm saying is this. For the artists out there, just because you ain't get there yet. Don't lose confidence and stop giving up sourcing ideas to artists 
that are bigger than you because you're giving it with an expectation of some type of a co-sign of help and they're not going to give it to you. Yeah. They're going to take that idea and they're going to motherfucking run with it. Got you. Yeah, so. Because it's not promised that they're going to Uncasa told shit. Jewel's to jump on a Chris Brown song. The, wow, you know what's crazy? Uh, Uncasa was here and he didn't even tell us that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, Uncasa, if it wasn't for Uncasa, there'd be no Joel's big record with Chris Brown. The 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 last the run one. It, the run it. The first song he did with Chris Brown. Wait, the what? Biggest, run it? I the thought you missed the record. last joint. Back to the crib, that. The I biggest, thought that's what he, I thought nah, he back to, he's talking about running. Back in the day. Oh, wow. The first record Joel's had with Chris Brown. Yeah, I know what he's talking about. That happened yeah. because of Uncasa. Yo, L, you got to do the get up. No, you got to get on this record. What do you, you know what I mean? Throw the barriers back to do it. So what I'm saying is, is a big record. it's a lot of shit behind the scenes that I feel artists that don't make it, they don't speak on it because if they speak on it, they know that relationship is going to be dissolved. But that's not even a usable relationship. So mm -hmm. why are you afraid to burn a bridge that you don't, you can't afford the toll to, to even cross that bridge? Good so why I can't even like so I'm a nah J Cole that stole some of my shit, you know what I mean? A lot of these rappers be stealing my shit. Did so you I mean, have a relationship with Cole? Nah, I just you know you going you know I'm moving around, I'm going to different studios, I'm going to uh, uh, um Stadium Red Studios, Rock the mm -hmm. Mic Studios, you know you moving around, mm -hmm. and you moving around, you know you and if you nice, nice people respect nice people. That's a fact. Okay. Yeah. And you would say something and do the C, they just see how you rock your sneakers. Why right. now they rocking it like that? Like, yeah. where you think Travis Scott get his get his swag from? Everything comes from Harlem B, by the way. Well, you know what Travis Scott get his his whole his whole shit from? Who Kim? ASAP? Nah, man, Bloody O. I you, you know I, whole, don't, I don't know about you know the whole Bloody switch o, for no. Louis Vuitton with they sneakers. While you see Louis and shit like this, mm -hmm. Bloody O. Harlem. Bloody O's a rapper. Nah, man. I don't know. I'm, He's a I'm, creative. Okay, got shout out to Bloody O too. All right. Now, I mean, me shout out to him. I'm just because people I'm not don't familiar. really be getting to be known that. Yeah. And I even told him like, yo, bro, you you. Fuck out of it. Y'all be, they be humble because they got to maintain a relationship. So I'm going to say it. You know what I'm saying? Every, the reason why Louis Vuitton sneakers is as hot as they are is because of Bloody O. Now, Bloody O used to work with Virgil. So now, you know, Bloody O got a statue in the Louis Vuitton store, too, by the way. You know what I'm saying? A statue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you should have a statue, too, the way you out here. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. You know what I'm saying, trust <laughs> me. But, but what I'm saying is, is look, but what I'm saying is, is the power yeah. of, the power of the, the creative mind of the underdogs is phenomenal. You, you like you don't realize it, right? Mm -hmm. And I and and I hope when people see this, if they have the ideas, do, burn that fucking bridge. Mm -hmm. Look, watch this. Hold on, watch this. This is this is the difference between me and everybody else. Hold on, because this is a bridge that I'm feeling some type of way about, and I'm and, and, and it's, it's about to burn. It's time. Yeah. What's that? A H, H two O. Yeah. That's some wild ass number. I don't know what's going on. That's a wild ass number. You say what? No, nah, that's a goat right there. I, there's a name on that? Yeah. Oh, pardon me. Pardon yourself. Uh, my last number. Hold on. I Hold thought on. I saw a number. Let me show you something. See if he pick up. I don't know. You say you saw a number. No, that's. No, what are you talking about? He said that's a goat. It's a goat. Oh, oh he understands. Oh, yeah. You know, he. <laughs> Come on. All right. Yeah. I know. I see who that is. Look, I see who I'm that calling. is. I'm calling. This is wild. I'm, and, and I'm doing this because I want people to know. Relationships don't matter if they're not usable. Mm -hmm. Right? And look, this is how I'm calling too. I'm gonna call two more times. This is how I be. Like, I'm gonna call. It's 928. <laughs> this is how I be. No, nah, because we be so afraid. How does your man? See, I, well, I'm, what the probably, fuck? He that? probably folded you. He probably, he probably did a lot is. in the office right now. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you got to text me. Look, I'm gonna I show see you. What that is. I, I, I'm up for when I saw the. This the, the letters, last text you sent me. Look, it was numbers. It's the last text you sent me. Here, take the phone. The last text you sent me. Read it. At training camp this week. Like. Hey, training camp with team this week. Hit you later. Let the fuck out of here. That's, that's, that's October 3rd, you heard? Yeah, th yeah, thank you. You feel me? What's today? Uh, I don't know. Fuck it. 14, 15. Yeah. So you ain't getting me. I'm caught now. So you got $50 million. We ain't, make, we ain't breaking no bread. You ain't cutting no check. I ain't no tax. I ain't no nothing. Now I'm cool, man. I'm good. So that's always been my sentiment. If you know I'm hungry and I'm and I'm trying to get an opportunity, this is why I don't pay to have contacts mm -hmm. a lot of times because they're not really doing nothing for you unless you do for yourself to the point you don't even need them. Mm -hmm. So now they coming around you becomes like the, the, the conversational piece. Now you the mm -hmm. cool thing to talk about. Mm -hmm. Nah, fuck out of it. Where was you a couple months ago? Yeah, gotcha. 
know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So anybody watching this, content creators, stop dick riding. Whoever was with you in the trenches, that's who you value. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? People you could call every... Watch, hold on. Watch. Gotta do this, bro. Now we here. It's a lesson. I said, so this is a lesson. And the real ones that see this video when y'all edit it, they gonna understand why I'm doing this. Look, hold on. Niggas getting voicemail. So, I said I'm going to 2024. I'm deleting my number. And then the new trick is a nigga. I'm deleting uh, my number. That's what it's I'm a fact. Saying. Oh, you caught that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's a fact. <laughs> like, because people, because people, <laughs> real shit, people, they stay close enough to you to make you feel like they're a part of your success, but further enough away from you so you don't got to never contribute to your success. Mm -hmm. True. See, look. What up? This is my man. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold on, bro. Don't hang up. Yo. Yo. Yo, what up? Now you just hit me. I know. I hit you now. I'm just making a point. That's all. I'm going to call you right back. All right. That's my man, G. It's my other man. He fighting the UFC. It's my man, Phil. Phil, what up? Yo, yo. Yeah, I'm doing an interview. FaceTime me real quick. It's my man fighting the UFC. It's my man. Mm. Look, bang. Look, it's my man fighting UFC. It's my man. It was good, man. It's good. What's the good? Word. He good, fighting. It's my man. He fight. He fight in the UFC. It's my man. Like UFC, right? Yeah. Nah, nah. I'm just making a point of like, if I can't get con, yo, I hit you back, Phil. If I can't contact you like that, yeah. Fuck as, you. As boys, as homies, this my as man. friends, is my man. Yeah. He, yo, he about to fight in Masters Regarding. I'm not looking for nothing from you. I'm just yeah, hitting like, you up. Yeah, like, it's access. Man. Yeah, access. So Correct. people got a lot of fucking contacts and they roll decks collecting dust that's non-usable. And you feel that that's if you say fact. something about it, you're going to burn the bridge. But stupid, it ain't even a fucking bridge. The bridge, bridge. already burnt already. It's already, bur <laughs> it's, it's already <laughs> burnt. Yeah, it's going already. Yeah. And you wait to cross it only to find out what you could have found out a lot sooner. <laughs> You, By just pressing the issue and keeping it moving shit, and letting like that energy that's hold up shit. energy to any, a, 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 you know what I mean? You with this fucking gun guzzling, bark blowing, <laughs> glizzy gobbling <laughs> whore, you know what I'm saying? And you got this good chick around the corner that yeah. you never gonna meet because yeah. you being Captain Saber whore. What? Well, I say right there, yeah, because you saying these same things like what you say right now. Yeah, you're speaking of of man should be confident in self. That's right. Should be promoting self. This things happen. I just want to get, you know, before we get out of here or whatever the case may mm -hmm. be, there's, there's a big thing going on out here about Jada Pinkett Smith and how she's moving. And it's just relatable Wheels to what she's you. speaking on. So we you know came with Jack Will. Wait, 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 wait. What, what you mean? Wait, wait, wait. Not saying what not. For those who didn't hear. Will I, Smith I, is a homosexual. I, what part you understand? The homo, the sexual, the will, or the Smith? Nah, I, I, I get all of it. I get all of it. What 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 leads you to that conclusion? Seven degrees of separation. Oh, I, I six fuck with you. Six degrees. Six degrees. Six degrees. Six degrees. Oh, six degrees. Oh, no, I was there with six you. Six degrees. I was there with you. I just wanted you to he say it. Kiss the man. I just right? wanted you to say it. Oh, kiss yeah. the man. So listen. Ninety three. So, <laughs> so whatever. So, well, look at so ninety three. So, twenty twenty three. So listen. So that's <laughs> so that's segue, right? So mm -hmm. this there's some things I want to touch on, right? Okay. So like, white people don't want to disappear, right? So we're dealing with um, a genetic warfare, right? There's an underlying motivation. Um, for all the behavior carried out by white supremacist groups um, to basically protect their genetic survival, okay? okay? So our elevation is viewed as their annihilation, okay. right? Um, so they, they basically removed the chains from slavery and then created laws um, that do the same thing, damage and destruction. Okay. And then we have to understand the power relationship. Um, also, we need to understand what white genetic survival is, and there's a war for white genetic survival. Okay, homosexuality is weaponized to help defend against white genetic annihilation. So it's an aid to it. Yeah, because if a man is fucking a man, how do you have babies? If we get, if, if every black man woke up today and said, yo, we having 12 babies, white man would be gone in a year. He'd be gone. Outnumbered, finished. He'd be gone. Mm -hmm. If every black man in America woke up and said, I'm going to have 12 babies, Within a year, the white race would be gone. It's time to work. That's their fear. <laughs> no, listen. That's their fear, right? Yeah. And, and, and why you think black families strategically over time 
got smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. It's no more gra- no more twelve babies. It's be fourteen, twenty eight, have twenty eight babies, right? That's so true. we so so we have to understand that, you know, if us being if us being successful is viewed at the ending of a whole fucking civilization, do you think there's gonna be no resistance for us to be in positions of power? So this this is we had we got we have to start to understand, um, you know, racism. We have to understand homosexuality, sexuality, black male masculation, and the the over hyper masculation of black women and sexualization of black women, and why this is happening, you know. Um, so we could be prepared for it and defend against it, and then they're working twenty four hours on the hour to eradicate us, mm-hmm. right? But it's this love-hate relationship because they can't survive without us and they can't destroy us. The women. No. The men. The The white men. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Why do you think he calls us the the minority when we're really the majority and he's the minority? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay? True. So so we have to, and this is why, you know, labels to what I'm doing and the content I'm creating is so important because we need to change the mindset of our people. And black men need to start acting more like gods and less like niggas. But I feel what it is, I mean, personally, what I feel what it is, is a lot of dudes, the black men, they don't fully have the confidence because they be so in love with their women at times. Like like I said, speaking it's on a the form will, of escapism. Whatever. We're talking about accountability. Though. It's yeah. a form of escapism. Now, mm-hmm. you take that same man who's so in love with his woman, let him hit Mega Millions. Bye, bitch. Let him, let him what? Hit Mega Millions. He's gone. But but he's but gone again. Look at what I was just saying. Look at what Will is bigger than Jada. But you you can't. Will's a homosexual, so you keep. That, he, that, let's be clear. Will Smith and their relationship is not a standard for black love. Fuck both of them. She's a weirdo. He's a weirdo. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank fuck you. them. Okay. Fuck their family. I, I fuck them all. Like we ain't. Like I don't want to talk about them. Okay. Black gotcha, man gotcha, is God. Gotcha, gotcha. Period. Gotcha. So when you. When you understand that how you think creates how you feel, how you feel becomes an emotion, that emotion becomes a vibration, that vibration becomes a magnet that attracts things to you, your thoughts produce electromagnetic vibrations. Like this is real shit. We, we can't do this for fucking so much shit. Electricity, power, we're fucking so powerful. Mm-hmm. When you understand who you are and the application of who you are to the life that you're living, then life that you're living is going to be worth living is going to change. Your brain produces neuromelanin. So when you think something, you have to think something a minimum of three minutes. Then your body produces a chemical. Your body produces a hormone that is in correlation to that thought that you're thinking. And when you sit for three minutes or more, the chemical circulates throughout your body. Then it creates the vibration. Now you're on a frequency. Now you're in a vortex. Now you're in alignment with that thought. And now your neuromelanin becomes fucking activated. Okay. And then you can manifest things. Also, you have to stop letting the white man um, create your relationship with God. Right, and we have to go to God specifically for provision, 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 provision. Now I lay me down to see my none of that bullshit. Provision, 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 provision. Salam alaikum. No, no, no. Provision, 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 provision. We're praying to to for God to give us our ability to be protectors, providers, maintainers, sustainers of our community, ourselves, and our household. We have intentional prayer, then we take intentional action. That's why I said the white man had action, the black man had Jesus. So you waiting for a man in the sky to come from a staircase of clouds, and the man here on the ground is putting you in the ground, and you sitting here thinking it's gonna change after four hundred fucking years. Not at all. That's why I say I'm a god. I we got. To, I'm gonna have to try this route. I feel better saying I'm a god than saying I'm a nigga. I feel better saying. Um, can you help me? I, mean, I feel better saying I'm gonna get it on my own versus can you help me please. Yeah. I feel a lot better doing it on my own. A lot I haven't better. spent one fucking dollar in marketing. I don't publish this. My shit is circulating because I'm getting more in tune with who I am. And that's spreading through the algorithm. And the algorithm is submitting to me. Gotcha. Yeah. I see I see you was on a couple of battle ciphers, rap ciphers. Oh, oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um on here. It's time. And we set the tone. Set the tone. Set the tone. I love that. That was that's a great what, segue. That's what we do over here. It's time. It's that's time. a great segue. That's what we do over here. We you know what I mean? Oh, and update two. I'm gonna say this last thing because right. I feel like this. You know, we gotta stop with this all this sucker not showing love shit. Facts. It's like, look, you make beats, send the beats. 
you can't or pass some beats down. Somebody teach somebody else how to make beats. Like we, it be whack, bro, because as talented as I am, if I didn't have the confidence I had, I would have gave up 10 years ago. I mean, people I seen that was super talented in music that should have had doors open for them. Remo the Hitmaker had DJ Mustard sound before DJ Mustard. Correct. That's he a was, fact. He was giving people beats with the hooks and all that. Right? Provide. How? If he was taking it from someone else, no, I don't no, know no, that no, part. No, no. no. <laughs> I got to give mean? him his. He did some sucker shit a couple times in the studio. Okay. But, you know, he is. Can't take it away from him. He's fucking talented. That talented. kid is a genius. Yep. He, he, like, the sound you hear, DJ Mustard, Remo had that sound before Mustard. Mm -hmm. So the whole L.A. sound that Mustard introduced with YG, Rowdy Rich, and mm -hmm. Nipsey and all, that, yeah, yeah, and all that, Remo was doing that before Mustard, anybody even knew, before Mustard was even in a fucking bottle. Mm -hmm. Okay? Gotcha. But why did he never get his just due? Because in New York, the system is fucking broken. We got a corny-ass approach. Too much sucker shit, right? Everybody making it so hard. I don't need his beats. I could go on YouTube and type fab, type beat, and get a beat better than the beat that he probably gonna make. <laughs> <laughs> that he don't even make no more, right? The type beat. But you could have made, you could have, you could have made that beat though. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Mm -hmm. You could have put more people in better positions, but you didn't because you got in position by getting in position by gobbling glizzies. So you got in position the wrong way, right? <laughs> so when somebody come in the right way, and you know, because homos no homos. Bitch niggas no real niggas. True. So when you come in the room and they look and they see you. know you, that difference. They don't know. Nah, he ain't with the. That nah, 300. Three shot away from you. That 300. Because you know you can't let me get too close. So I'm going to smell. I'm going to smell all the doo doo, doo doo stains you got in your boxes. You know what I'm saying? If you took a shit on yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're going to smell the shit. You're going to smell So you, you trying to keep me at bay because you know you've been gang banged in the office. You <laughs> mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? No, that's a fact. Asshole leaking and all that pause. Yeah, so you don't want me, yeah. Right. Gang banging in the office. Yeah, it's the truth. <laughs> so you don't want me to get too close to you because you know I might see the yeah. sucking shit in you. Yeah. So you're going to try yeah. to keep me at bay. Spin me and hula hoop me. Just keep it 100. You was a coward. You was weak. You not and you like folded. that. You not it's like okay. That. Yeah. But listen, I'm going to show you the way. You was the fly on the wall, right? So just share some information from being in the room. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to fold. I'm going to rise. And then when I rise, because you wasn't on sucker shit with me, I could pick you up. And now you can have redemption. Instead of being on the sideline, having a talent that you never did nothing with. True. And you produce these records, but you ain't get the real money off the streams like they get now. You made records years ago, but when he was making beats, it ain't like now. Mm. You got kids, yo, bro. I don't know if I told you, you got kids on YouTube making a million a month. Right now, these things, it's different right now, bro. For beats right now, oh my God, they selling one beat two hundred thousand times, and people paying. Don't even care. <laughs> don't got publishing. No way. No Ten other niggas got Yo, the beat. Lease this shit fifteen dollars. Two hundred thousand rap. You just made boy. What's two hundred thousand times fifteen? It's you talking about you ain't making beats no more? You. I'm about to. I'm about to get me <laughs> some beat. Word of mother. We ain't leaving no money on the table. Times yeah. is hard. Was, uh, Fuck all that. But when you do it by yourself, because you was taught to do it by yourself, then guess what? You only by yourself. True. And you can't get all this money by yourself. It takes a village. That's why I share this information. Hopefully that I get around the collective that wakes the fuck up and we can get a hundred million as opposed to just a million we're gonna get as individuals. Let's let's talk about the satellite. I, I, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Talk about what? Real quick. Oh yeah. So satellite. So um, I know we, I know we gonna close and go into the, the yeah. freestyle. Kobe and Shaq instrumental too. By the way, oh, I'm trying to rap. <laughs> yeah. Um, so look, that, that's the beat. Kobe and Shaq instrumental. Yeah, now, facts, facts. Yeah, we got you. 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 We got the white man wants us parasitic. So you guys got to get in the ownership position instead of just paying, renting out spots like fuck all that. We need to figure out how to make it make sense. So we have to get all the content creators on the same accord and then create a union for content creators. Same way they got SAG. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. For the writers. The, the, and all yeah, that. the content yeah. creators got to be protected because y'all doing legendary shit. And all these big corporate companies is just... Mm -hmm. Taking taking mm -hmm. from this podcast. Ad agencies is... And you ain't getting a fucking dollar. Facts. Right? Facts. So that's where the union comes into play. Secondly, we got to take a step back in order to take a step forward. We have to get on terrestrial radio, right? AM channel, okay? 
get on the AM. Radio tower on the low end is anywhere between $150,000 and $200,000. Okay? Mm-hmm. We create a rate, we start get a plan for 10 to 12 radio towers, then now we get on the airwaves. Okay? And then that ad revenue from the, from the airwaves, we can take funnel into purchasing a satellite because satellites go from 10 to $12 million. We should be able to go to athletes to get that, but we can't because they suckers. So fuck them too. So we're gonna have to do this really by ourselves. But God blesses the child that has his own. So we're on a vibration of ownership, then we're gonna be empowered by God, and that is the provision. Okay. The money to add revenue you're gonna make is the provision given from God. So God is gonna empower your hustle, empower your platform. You're gonna be able to retain and obtain those. Um, advertisement dollars and then invest in an actual fucking radio tower get on am radio mm-hmm. now you can offer way more competitive ad slots so why i'm gonna pay hot 97 five thousand dollars for 15 seconds when i could pay you two hundred dollars for 15 seconds mm-hmm. and i'm reaching out to you and i'm not making it hard i'm not making it some real goofy shit radio money radio makes money off of advertisement so why is it so hard to get a song on radio that's just mm-hmm. fuck shit yeah true Radio don't make money off music. You know that, right? No, music right. is just a commercial off between ads. ads. Yeah, correct. So why is it so hard That's fine. for a New York music artist to be on the fucking radio? Ads. I like that. It's fuck shit. So now, we, so it's a whole other revenue stream that we could have that we could offer to artists if we have more radio towers in our own radio stations. So you have to have the plan. We talked about clarity, right? The vision. Mm-hmm. Then you set a goal, then you have a deadline for it. Then you're working towards it. Now, how do you work towards something like that from where you guys at? Now, every every um, interview that you do, every podcast show that you do, you need to create ad revenue goals for each video. So you reach out to companies that's going to be relevant to the people that's going to be coming on to the actual show. And then you're like, okay, you're coming on to the show, right? Um, I know Smart. Smart is a boxer. So we're going to talk about boxing. So I'm gonna go reach. I'm gonna go call Super Rare, right? Because mm-hmm. that's a that's a company in Lower Manhattan that sells mm-hmm. fight equipment. Fight gear. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna say, hey man, if you got any smaller companies that couldn't make your shelf, they can make my fucking show. Mm-hmm. Do some due diligence, contact the company, and now you say, hey, smart, how you feel about this glove? Oh, what glove is that? Super Rare. They just paid you $75 to be mentioned in this video because I have an audience and I have a following. So you make $75 off that one video, off that one product. You can squeeze in a minimum of five products per video. You got your, your calculator, right? 75 times five is what? 150, 150, it's 300. It's about, I think, mm, what is it? Four, like, what is it? How much is it? 150, 750. 375. Mm-hmm. So you should be pulling a minimum of 375 per video on the low end for ads. 10 videos, that's uh, uh, 3,000. 3, I think 750, mm-hmm. right? So that's how much you're making a week off of your videos. Mm-hmm. That's a week. A week. You see? 3, 6, 9, 12, and 14, Yeah, but no, 000. you're going to scale because you're going to have a business plan. You're going to have an accounting section in terms of your business plan, and then you're going to scale. And then as you have more content, you have more ad space. And then as you have more ad space, you have more content. The price of the ad space goes up mm-hmm. organically, gradually, yeah. not inflation, though. Not inflation, gradually. Just based upon your value sure. position. You see? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's dope, man. Oh, man. That's dope. Smart dropping gems. Honestly, you drop, you drop jewels. Yeah. For a lifetime. You show yeah, because, I mean, because at the end of the day, it's time for that, right? Like, listen, let's be clear. I'm not special. I'm mm-hmm. special, but what I'm doing here is not special. That's what's supposed to be done. It's been over 400 fucking years. We are owed trillions of fucking dollars by America. We're owed trillions of dollars. This ain't the fuck. This ain't special. Ain't nobody talking about it. That's some sucker shit, bro. Like, I be feeling some type of way. Motherfucking made beats. I ain't get no motherfucking beat. You ain't really do right by shit. Or you got this fucking podcast. You ain't really putting motherfuckers on. You got this. I'm putting motherfuckers on. Mm-hmm. Shit is sucker shit, bro. Yeah. And you broke. You could have made $100 million, but you broke trying to act like you got it, but you don't got it, but you still don't got it. And what you doing now? Oh, you made a pivot? You made a pivot for what? You shouldn't have made a pivot in the first place. Mm-hmm. Even your pivot ain't into ownership. You pivoting into employment. Spit. Yeah, you ain't spit. Nah, even spit like shit. Michael Jackson. That's you spitting like Crack Jackson. Crack Jackson. Now nah, it's real shit. If you gonna if you gonna spit, spit like Michael. Yeah. Not Crackle. <laughs> the fuck? You tripping? So what, what it means is you gotta have a real conversation. Listen, there's a there's an incentive to keep us 
separate. So that's why we feel like we don't got to help each other mm. because the people that you think is in power won't help you if you empower your people. So you got to unplug from that motherfucker and, and plug in with your people. Mm -hmm. That information I gave you, a white man to charge you $5,000 in a consultation. Yeah, it's true. For 20 minutes. He's gonna charge you five thousand dollars. I just people. told you in this, in, in this, in this, and you gonna make money off this shit on views. You're giving it to you ain't people. even pay me to come here. You help me with gas. You get water hot. <laughs> yo, yo, nah. I'm just keeping a stack with <laughs> yeah. you. You I'm don't drink. Saying. You don't want to drink. Nah, I'm just keeping it being with you. <laughs> yeah, how we treat each other and how yeah. we don't value each other, and that gotta change. Yeah, that gotta change. And then, and you pay it forward, but moving forward, you value the information. Just gave you a real million dollars worth of game, bro. And you ain't pay a dollar for it. Because you're not so fucking post to. You paid in blood. You paid by getting shot by the police. You paid by getting roasty profiled. You paid by standing on that welfare line for three hours only to get enough money to, to buy potato chips. Mm. You paid with every time that chick told you no and she should have said yes because you was better than the dude she was fucking with. But she ain't see nothing fuck with about you because she was looking at the wrong shit. Facts. So if you take what I'm saying and put it in motion and you get more lit, guess what? Now I'm on radio because my bro got a radio station. Mm -hmm. I drop these products. I'm like, I'm about to drop. I make the billions. Now you go, yo, bro, can you, yo, what you got in this radio tower? What you need? Mm -hmm. I'm sending it. Get motion. It's time for fucking utopia. Wakanda is real. You and we ain't got to put no tat real. goofy tattoos on our inner lip. We ain't doing that. You <laughs> know what I mean? But it's real, though. We can create utopia. We can create right now. But we got to get that mindset first and get a collective unison of that similar mindset and phase out the middleman to where now everybody got their own party. They got their own shit. We own the building. Ain't no time stamp. We up here. What the fuck we going to do? We here tomorrow. That's whatever. We own all the cameras, all the shit. Ownership. Then we got our own B&H, A&H. You know what I'm saying? You know, B&H, right? Photos? Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A&H, yeah. man. Yeah. African yeah. hardware. Okay. Same? That's good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you. Yo, man, honestly, we it, appreciate man. you for pulling man, up. That Kobe and Shaq at, man. We Load me up, man. It's time, man. It's time, yeah, you heard? It's time. I mean, I'm ready to rap. I mean, I'm ready to rap, man. It's time. It's time. I need one of them beats, man. You, you, you talk that... You talk that truth for the people. Now we need to I'm hear Bo that. Jackson with the shit in, here, man. In music form. You I mean, know what yo, saying? listen. I need some of them beats too, man. <laughs> He's here. Yeah, yeah, man. I say, I, yeah, man. I, yeah, yeah. He ain't preached for nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's giving voice more energy for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I got you, bro. Yeah. The number you have, John. <laughs> Yo, Don't do me like that, bro. Yeah. All right, man. Yo. Let's get to All it, All right, man. Let's get to it, man. We live on the set. Harlem. Yeah, yeah. We live on the set, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got uh. a smart guy in the building. Uh -huh. Set the tone yeah. podcast. Tone Lee and Leezy. JC Light. Talk Yo, to him, man. So a crack on the corner with his hand out. That shit funny. Now how hard it is for a black man to get money. Living in America. For the Cartiers and sky dwellers, it was handcuffs. Judge sat me down, I stayed sturdy, had to stand up. Daddy gone, mommy getting high, had to man up. Blueprint with, nah, nigga, wasn't no plans for us. Couldn't get alone, wasn't no grants for us. My dog just lost his life, putting that hammer up. Money on your head, pay for the spin like a laundry mat. Ty can't get that stain out, gotta go to God for that. My black man getting money since the 80s, that's an artifact. And when you getting money, you're for hard and make it hard to rap. At the dealer, picking out these farms, I tell him, give me two. Couple Travis just made the falls. Well, me and my niggas gonna make it too Haters tried to close doors on them We still made it through At the bank, 100K Tell her, tell her, just make it blue So a young pup get hit with a 100 plus Shit hit home Like it was one of us They gave him time like Chapo But he was only local The numbers they giving out You can probably fit up in a social Granddaddy died Cremated, I watch him turn to dust I fear law but in this pistol where I put my trust Left prison with a plan Focus when I came out Daddy gone Mama fucking niggas In the same house Bitches suck dick Then throw dirt with the same mouth Money make me more who I am Can't change now Eight brothers stomach rumbling Can't play now You ain't sending zales Or dropping dollars in my PayPal Blood turn the water on Feel me acting strange now Feels like we miles apart But we in the same town Back against the wall They tried to kill me But I'm still breathing Feels like I seen the devil Swimming and my daddy seeming Ha! 
When that pistol pop, Glock got me fiending In the mirror, feels like broken glass Picking up the pieces Lord, give me strength to swing my soul at these demons I get a second chance, I'ma change I mean it, beam on it Every bullet landing in the same hole Devil on the guillotine, I piss on your rainbow I'm nice with my hands, but I'ma let this Glock blow Missy with the bullshit, I'm just trying to monetize ARs and blue effings, but red is pop I'm God's child, the devil's op, a better pop We all felons, before mobiles was din numbers 500 off, 3.5, we brick runners Green box, Southport, I miss summers 15, 8 bodies, they getting younger No kids, hit fathers, skip mothers 8 Kevlar's Kevlar's, box cutters Shark on concrete, Ferrari C10 Fuck Ralph, it's the horse without a man uh -huh. New Louis, cost more than your minivan uh -huh. Bottega Veneta, new levers, 10 grand uh -huh. yeah. Yo, nigga Yeah He's hold smarter up. than you yeah. I even do That beat was yeah. too short, Paul, damn, hold up, man yeah. Yo, free, run it back one time, one time, one time, one time Oh, you got time. more back. for him. Run it back. Yeah, hey, hold on. He's say. smarter than you. you. He's here to Run set a toe, man. Yo, don't join up for me real quick, man. Run it back. 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 Check it, hey yo, black enterprises, America's nightmare. Moving base, trying to ball, we had the pitch right there. Yeah, Nina try to tell me that life ain't fair. Rules of the ghetto, you could lose your life right there. Black cops, not us, they white as rice right there. It's like the blind lead the blind, no advice right there. Uh, niggas screaming they want you to win, but want you to fail. It's like a blind man with no hands searching for braille. Yeah, these niggas lit, but I've been rich. So focused, I could probably hear fish piss. Still swimming in money, could boat paddle the dough. My watch say come, my Glock say go. Paparazzi the flow, when cameras come, we pose, nigga. Look, I say, granddaddy died, I watch him leave, that shit won't go away. This life you will be tested, mm hmm, that's what they always say. But even if you pass that shit, sometimes that pain won't go away. Hollows in that effing, duct tape when I load the K. Devil at my door, but can't no demon take control of me. Angels all around, I thank a lot before I go to sleep. Every breath I take a blessing. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Sometimes God gives you flowers. Over time, she's just playing seeds. You can't eat the fruit but hate the tree. The process was a person, then I'm him. That's why they hated me. Pistol in my hand, watch this Glock take control of me. Pops walked out, mama wasn't holding me. No family to call, nigga. No, nah, or console me. Reflections of a warrior, salute to the old me. OGs, never shown the ropes, but I was learning it. Bagging up in the glad bag, while she burn the tip. Five, all alone. Thinking to myself, who the fuck I'm gonna call on this toy phone? Plus the cord broke, ribs touching. Shit was pulling at my torso. Devil spring poured in the cup, I was the lost soul I could have died like four times Sipping on this liquor helped me minimize Dark man, on my shoulder ain't a friend of mine You ain't God, you ain't give me life Why you judging me? I can see the knife in your hand, nigga But you ain't cutting me World full of suckers All I see is fuckery Focus on the road that's under me Hungry, pistol in my hand, dog. Please don't come for me Focus on my company Till I touch a billion, bro I can't sleep comfy What goes up comes down But I think I got the bungee Yeah too many thoughts in my head, so much pain in my heart Opportunities lost, that shit tore me apart My family left me for dead, I knew it right from the start Yeah From the start, man Yeah, you better stop playing Yeah, yeah He's smarter yeah. than you Yo, yeah. real rap Yeah Real talk. Nigga, chef, you heard the boat, what? Real vibe. So focused, I could probably hear fish piss. Nah, that, I'm that still shit swimming in money. Yo, could boat paddle the dough. My watch say come, my Glock say go. Mm -hmm. Huh? We here. I talk saw a crack on the corner with his hand out. That shit funny. You know how hard it is for a black man to get money? money. Living in America, before the Cartiers and Sky Dwellers, it was handcuffs. Mm -hmm. Judge sat me down, I stayed sturdy, had to stand up. Daddy going, mama getting high, had to man up. Blueprint weird, nah, nigga. Wasn't no plans for us. Couldn't get along, wasn't no grants for us. My dog just lost his life putting that hammer up. Money on your head, I pay for the spin like a laundry mat. Ty can't get that stain out, gotta go to golf for that. Mm. My block been getting money since the 80s, that's an artifact. Cause when you getting money, you're for hard and make it hard to rap. Boy, I heard you. Ball we heard life, you. Nigga. Nah, I got some shit. We artifact heard you. ball was the hardest nah, ball in your shit life. Hard. Artifact. <laughs> the 80s, it's back Yo. then, the artifact. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's an art, it's a fact. It's oh, an artifact. It's heavy right there. A lot of layers to the bottom, Yo, man. Real talk, real man. rap, 
real everything. The tone has been set, it's man. The smart That's a guy. Fact. The tone's been set. Yeah, man. Right here on Set the Tone Podcast, we appreciate you for coming through, Facts, man. man. You, you know what I'm saying? Cool, man. One time, let them know where they can find you. You know where to find me, man. Where's that at? at on the gram, you know the where at, to find me, man. It's just, smart guy. It's that. Listen, man. I ain't gonna hold simple you. Simple as that. Yeah, I told him. I said, listen, man. I work very hard to get to the Kanye aspect, man. Mm. I'm saying, you know, Kanye. He, he said, he's like, yo, you know. Um, right now it's Kanye West, but when are they gonna call me Kanye? Mm-hmm. And then Ye, so I'm still working yeah. on getting to Ye. I'm at yeah. the Kanye part now. People I see me you. like, oh, that's, they know me now, man. They know you, man. For real, real shit. Nah, I ain't nah, lying, real, man. We, we, they gonna I see mean, this order, bro. Facts, part of it. As they should. You know As they said? should, man. The college student. I'm trying to tell you, you know college student, man. But it's honestly, a fact, man. yo, we, listen, man. Yo, real talk. <laughs> yo, real, real, real talk. We appreciate you for coming through. That's love, man. Dropping jewels. Yo, yo, bro. We got no beats in the stash right there that you made. Yo, hold out, man. Listen, we gonna talk. We gonna talk once. You know what I mean? Facts. But yo, appreciate you for coming through, (laughs) holding it down once again. It's the fly, Lynn Leezy. Yep. JC the light. (laughs) Yo, (laughs) you know what I mean? We here. Set the tone tone podcast. The tone's been set, man. I gotta listen. I gotta shout you out too, man, because a lot of times people, I mean, the room smell good. A lot of times, the room pause. Hey, that was crazy. Yeah. Wow. That was crazy. Yeah, what you... Yeah. No, no, listen. Well, I ain't gonna I listen. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. But... I, <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's professional here, man. Yeah. I just... I love the setup. I think you, I think you guys have a, a winning team. Yeah. Um, and I know you guys are going to keep going up here from here. That's so just fight. stay, you know, stay dedicated, stay consistent. Stay grounded. And, and raise the... Raise the energy. Because, you know... You know, R- Rogan getting like, like I think it's like ninety or hundred per episode. It's a fact. Joe Rogan. It's a fact. Yeah, Joe Rogan. Yeah, and John you guys Ron. got that. You got a, it's a good combination. You guys got. Yeah. It'll work. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Yeah, he's like the Reese's. You're like the, the plastic. Like, <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> yo, right, yo, we out here, yo. Man. Yo, we out here. Yeah. Set a tone podcast. Small guy, told me to set. Shout out to your boys. We here, man. One time, we out.